Hey y'all, so today's the day. Today's finally that day. Damn, damn. So it's the 19th of March today, and the 20th of March will be my elective C section. And right about now, I'm just gonna get ready to go down so it can just prep me up for tomorrow. Y'all, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I know that I'll be okay. Baby boy will also be okay. I'm a can't wait until Dario gets to see his brother. <laughs> yeah, Dario is going to sleep in at the moment. And baby boy is right here. So Dario is going to sleep in with his dad. And um, I'm going to start get ready because I should be there um, before 8. And it's actually 7 something and I woke up after 5. Tell me why me wake up so early. Yeah, I wake up after 5 and... Um, Maybe I go and do some TikTok because you know, just to catch more memories of the belly. It's now 7.28 as well and um the job are not gonna hear by nine o'clock because you have um school children to drop off and pick up and all of that. Nine o'clock is good, that's not bad. So may I get ready before eight at eight, eat something and by nine o'clock in the year I can just go easily. I want Dario to be in the car with me because honestly, I don't know how long I'm going to stay in the hospital for. Normally, C section lasts up to three days, but who knows anything can happen in the hospital and I'm there for more than three days. So, I want Dario to come with me on the journey while I just get the few more hours with him. And that's the last moment because you know how that's so. Just a few more hours with him till I come out of the hospital or yeah, whatever. I got shown on him and your father asleep right now because two of them cuddle up. Guys, stay here. So yeah guys, him and your father asleep. Honestly, um, Dario got in bed really, really late last night. He's not really sleeping. Sleeping schedule change. So, if if him not wake up by 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock, I'm not going to make him sleep. I'm not going to wake him up out and sleep. Guys, you don't know, so my turn, grandmother, my, kid, my cat, go and give my grandbabies. Look at them. <laughs> it's four of them, you know, four. The one here so titty. Say hi, baby. Say hi, baby. <laughs> All the one here, too. Hi guys. I'm gonna make sure I feed them before I go in. So yeah. Um I think I forget this. Like I'm never telling you how much weeks I'm be. I'm 38 weeks and three days today, guys. So basically, um I have a baby boy at 38 weeks and four days. Summer, you know I miss me. You know I miss me. She didn't even pay me no money. You know, I miss me. Yeah? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not gonna start prep up myself right about now. <sighs> I'm nervous, y'all. Like, I'm really and truly nervous. My dad's not gonna go in and come out.
Yeah, and this bed, why, hey, man, I like to lean on the belly, fully push out and drop, like, bro, baby boy, ready. He must show me, say, yes, mommy, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, guys. So, I don't know, um, we can't see the nurses or doctors as yet. They talked to me before, say, I have to wait a bit because some other patients don't get admitted as yet, so I have to go and wait. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna wait until they're ready for me. So, y'all, I just got checked, and now I'm gonna pee in this thing. So, yeah, there it is, guys. So, guys, my dad get checked up and everything. Um, I'm about to get admitted, so I'm gonna get the needle inserted in my arm, the IV. I'm all finished, guys. So, now I'm going to go with you now if we carry the stuff then upstairs. So, we can get to bed and prep up for tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm at the ward. I'm at the ward and I'm going to prepare my bed because I'm going to go to bed soon, shortly. Um, Tomorrow I'll be doing the C section. As it touched 10 o'clock tonight, I must eat nothing or drink nothing. No water. And as morning light, I swim. I don't know what time they will put in the C section, but yeah. So I'm going to try to eat something, buy something from the vending machine because I am so hungry right now. I don't want that night reach, but night fall, I can't eat nothing. So I'm going to try to get a vending machine and some more there. So. I just got a little quick snack. So yeah. So guys, I got my bed. I got my bed and everything. Um, I'm going to the vending machine to get something to eat because um, I can't eat past 10 o'clock. Once it touch 10 o'clock, I can't eat nothing. Cause you know, that can affect the C-section process and everything like that. So yeah, and after I get some feet, I'm gonna rest because I feel tired. I purchased the cinnamon bun and a plant shapes with a sparkling water. So now I'm going to munch by that for now. I food my want, but I can't go outside for the food. So I'll see you guys later on. Hey y'all. <coughs> so I'm not too long wake up. And um, then check the baby heart rate and everything. And the baby heart rate is sky high. So then put me on drip. Then put me on drip for try to reduce that. For try to make him calm or whatsoever. And if the baby heart rate don't go down, I've got to emergency C section tonight. And may I pray to God say it kinda reduce right now because may I pray to God say it reduce because we can't bother. I'm not gonna go through the phase. I just want him for alright, I will just go through this smoothly. So just have me on a prayer for me there, please. We'll talk to me next day because I'm um, the other day. Or me just keep on updating. I'm really not really feel good. My week cold, me not pain. So guys, the drip almost finished. It almost finished. This is a fast drip. So once it's finished, then I'm going to check my back and see if the baby heart rate reduce. It's the same thing like put to sleep or still staying away. Emergency means that something is going on with you or going on with baby. 
they have to call emergency. They have to call emergency because you're in distress and baby is in distress. And that's why we call it emergency. May I try my best for no, this stress? No, distress means like, for example, your pressure is not high. But my pressure is high. Your pressure is high. For example, you know the baby heart rate high. For example, your heart rate high. Those are the things that we consider. Mm -hmm. And it's normal, normal. It's normal. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> I'm happy. Y'all heard it from a nurse. After I just done my own, I'm good. I'm Going back to my bed. So guys, it's now 9 o'clock on the dot and I got the vending machine again to get something to eat before 10 o'clock because as I said earlier, I can't eat nothing when I when reach 10 o'clock because C-section. So yeah, I'm going to the vending machine now and see if we can get a little snack some lunch pan. My slippers are so cute by the way. Yo, I can't find the security. The machine, the vending machine don't take hard money. It only will take 200 or 150 or anything like that. And a five bills I have, I'm gonna change it. And I don't see the I don't see the um the security so I'm gonna change the money. I'm hungry, I'm gonna need to eat something. Who am gonna change it? It's okay. Good night. You have change for five hundred dollars? So I got I just got the change guys. So that's how we can smile if you use it, then we can go next. Let me see. So guys, I just get through. So the machine down there, so. So I'm just gonna banana my chips and an expert in water. I know so that's not enough, but I fool my feel for, but I'm gonna get the food. Anyways, me will see my guys tomorrow. I'm gonna rest up and prepare for the big day tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. So I just took my bath, getting ready, getting all prepped up for for later on for the c-section i don't know what time because they haven't um i haven't seen my doctors yet to tell me what time i'll be going down or the nurses haven't told me what time i'll be going down so yeah so i just bathe and um you know i'm going to put on my clothes then i'll head back to my bed they're going to put me on a trip so yeah once that once i'm on that trip and the trip is finished They'll call me into the room to put on the paper bag on me, the catheter. So yeah, and then after that, I'll wait a while until I go to the theater room. So yeah, I just put on the the um the bag with the fluid. Hey guys. Um, so everything just was just way too fast for me. Um, I just wake up again. I come out of theater a long time, but I did not pee and my couldn't move or anything like that. But big boy is here. I still can't move. I'm still having this on my hand. Yeah. We can move my toe them now because I did know them earlier. We can move my foot them. Um, and my hand them. I just can't turn as yet. So, I'm not showing them why I foot. But that's all I'm not showing. Y'all yeah, also before I end this vlog, mega confirm something in the vlog. Mega cancer. Oh god, mega cry. Mega confirm something in this vlog. I am 39 weeks. I just reached 39 weeks. So then calculate my weeks them wrong again. I did ultra so I do it every time. Then calculate my weeks them wrong. I make me think I have 38 weeks, but I'm actually 39 weeks today. So we we'll still go full term. I'm going to make it be known. I'm going to do a story time about that same way. For 
it's kind of confusing. I try to understand it myself. But I'm going to do a story time about that same way. But I'm 39 weeks today, guys, with a healthy baby boy. So, yeah, guys, we did it. We came through with this. Everything is all worked out. It, it just there, a steer for me. It just a steer for me, oh god. So, we did it, guys. Thank god. We got over the um, the hard part. That was the hard part for me because that was a life and death situation. See me. Thank God we got over it and thank God that we're all safe. So, y'all can head over, head over to my TikTok and support me right here. My baby can talk because I don't know if I caught me yet. I can. I mean, a lot of pain. See me. Just ensure to like up the video, subscribe, turn on the bell notification to get notified when i post and i'll see you guys in the next video love you guys